Good Sunday, everyone. Looking at our weather map for today, we see that cool front that came through yesterday evening has now pushed southeast of our region and is still making its way through the southeast U.S. About a couple of showers to the plateau yesterday evening and um, and then some cooler air, of course, behind that. And we dropped into the mid-30s last night. And uh, some folks may have even had a little bit of frost. I think the breeze last night may have prevented more frost from occurring. But if you look to the southwest, you'll see strong severe thunderstorms across portions of southern Texas as that front gets a little more energized in that part of the country. Elsewhere, it's pretty quiet. There's a few snowflakes across the U.S.-Canadian border and a few more snowflakes out west as colder air filters in from the north. Look at our five-day forecast. We'll see just a 10% chance for a sprinkle um, today and then highs in the low 50s. Clouds and sun. I think we'll see more sun as we get toward the afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear, scattered frost likely. Lows around 30. And then for Monday, highs in the mid to upper 50s and most, mostly sunny skies. And uh, we may have a little bit more frost Monday night as well. But uh, Sunday night tonight is definitely the frostier of the two nights. And, um, and then we don't have to worry about frost for a while. We've got um, just a slight chance for a sprinkle on Tuesday. And then a chance for a shower Tuesday night. Better rain chances arrive Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday, and Thursday night. With about a 50% chance of showers um, throughout that period. But temperatures will be mild. Um, so that will be um, warm spring showers if you will. And on this day in 1968, an F2 tornado hit Smithville just before 3 o'clock in the afternoon. One person was hurt. And in 1988, oh, an intense winter-like storm brought thunderstorms to Southern California. And then some ladies who were playing uh, softball in Tustin, California, were injured when they tried to seek shelter under a tree from the rain and so you, of course you don't ever do that but i don't think they get many thunderstorms out there so they probably didn't know weren't as familiar with what you do when you hear thunder roar right in 2009 a gamma ray burst is observed for 10 seconds it's the most distant object of any kind and also the oldest known object in the universe so an exciting day for those folks for sure well, you folks have a wonderful Sunday and keep looking up for even more weather information. Just keep reading along at meteorologistmark.com.